Hey YouTube, what's going on? Check me here. Uh, I'm gonna finish up the uh, set with uh, Sanction Glory. I think I believe I left off on that squeeze on the start of match four. Um, uh, like I said, I think I'm pretty good matches. Uh, I'm getting used to Vega's car throw and uh, just really the new Vega in this game because this is the first Vega that's really utilized his wake up game and the car throws and stuff. So, so it's kind of awkward for me right now, but. I don't know. I think later on I get adjusted and I start um, start getting used to what he tries to do. But yeah, here we go. Actually, I actually don't remember this at all. Try to get some of the focus there. Like I said, it's absolutely safe. Good flip from him. Try to keep him close at all times. Uh, try to mix it up there. Try to get a little freaky. It didn't work. That doesn't jump in there by me. Now we're back to neutral. So I'm trying to get in close and not utilizing fireballs, that's bad. Whenever you're playing against Vega, you shouldn't be trying to play footsies. I mean, you could you can try to play footsies with them, try to get in, but you really should be utilizing the fireball. And this is a lot of things that I do too. Not just against Vega, but against Ryu, against every single character. Uh, you really have to utilize your fireball, especially bar, uh, especially ball run. Because if you're not utilizing your fireballs, that means you're not zoning. And although the low forward is very good and crutch medium has good priority, they're not going to really out you know, I'll poke somebody, so you're going to be probably the one losing that battle majority of the time. So it's really important that, you know, you, you stick to the firewall because, I mean, it really is the bread and butter of this game. Alright, here we go. See, so yeah, look, I finally threw one and I finally hit him with it because I haven't been doing it. Yep. Got counter damage there, so I did a hell of a lot, but good decision to do the EX there to get out of the corner. Ooh. Missed the combo there, lucky for me. Good anti-air. Being grabbed out. Good tech. Because probably another EX. Nope. Yeah, not utilizing the fireball. There you go. But by that time it was too late, I suppose. So, really, if I had to change one thing in that round, other than the bad jumping that I missed that uh, combo, it would be the utilization of the fireballs because I probably got I probably would have gotten a good amount of like a good amount of health down from using the fireball. Good combo by me. Tried to grab him but messed it up. Missed the anti air. But anyways, a lot of jumping in by me. But Vega doesn't have a lot of good anti airs unless you react to it. So it's not really a bad thing. So right, good good fireball to alter there. He got me. Yeah. Missed time the jump again, so good catch from him from the ultra. But yeah. Oh, random uppercut. I think I started guessing here because I didn't know what he was going to do. There's that car throw. Oof. Good stuff. Yep, that's match forward. So, like I said, uh, against Vega and against really every character that you play against that has a good poke, like a Balrog or a Vega. I'm sorry. A Paul, yeah, no, Balrog, Vega, Bison. And Chun Li, you really gotta use your fireball, even though they have stuff that goes through it. Uh, you really gotta utilize it correctly, get some free damage, kind of have them respecting the fireball game, and then you can get some good jump ins. But good match from Sanctum.